Good morning once again to the South Carolina Synod's offering of devotions called Scripture and Song. We've been having a really good time talking to the leaders from across our Synod about their favorite hymns. Some of them or most of them from the Easter season. And today I'm excited to have with me uh, my sister in Christ, Pastor Jackie Utley. Pastor Jackie, welcome to this devotional time, and thank you for spending some time with me and with those of a, uh, those that are watching across the South Carolina Synod. It's good to have you with us. Good morning, Bishop Abershire. It's good to be with you. I thank you for the invitation. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm glad you're here. Pastor Jackie, you have been a pastor of Ascension Lutheran Church. Tell us how long you've been pastor there. Well, it's been nine years, and I might as well say going on 10 years, I've been the pastor here at Ascension. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, I'm delighted that you could spend a few minutes with us today in this devotion, and I'm really eager to hear about the hymn that you've chosen to share with us and to tell us about. So why don't I let it, turn it over to you and let you tell me uh, what hymn have you chosen, why is it special to you, and what, what can you tell us about this hymn? Okay. I, um, well, when asked to reflect on a hymn that I love, I, I amuse myself that of all the beloved hymns from my childhood and, and those that I've come to know and love while serving in the Lutheran Church, um, I thought of all the hymns, uh, for some reason, my life flows on an endless song. Uh, happens to be one that stands above all the rest at this particular time. Um, and I, I recall that the first time I heard it was at one of the, our leaders' convocations up at Lutheridge. I believe it was back in 2017. And I recall it was a sending hymn uh, for that convocation that year. And as we were singing it, I, I thought, wow, I can't believe a hymn like this is in the ELW. And then I thought, and it definitely does not sound like a hymn that Lutherans sing. <laughs> and so as we were singing it, it just brought joy to my spirit, and I just loved it and could not to get back um, to Ascension to, to plant it into our worship. Now, what I tend to love about it so is in addition to its upbeat tempo, and it has somewhat of a folklore folklore nature, um, of all the verses in the in the hymn, it's the refrain that resonates with me. Um, no storm can shake my inmost calm, while to that rock I'm clinging, since Christ is Lord of heaven and earth. How can I keep from singing? And so when I, there's a certain joy that I get from singing this song and, and, and I, I, I picture myself, and you know I'm animated, Bishop, I picture myself being blown by the winds of adversity and seeing myself flailing in the wind and reaching out and grabbing hold to Christ, that solid rock, and clinging for dear life with a song in my heart. And so what this song is for me is a reflection of the hope that I have in Christ, um, regardless of what storms I face in life, and then the joy that I, I, I have in singing. Um, what comes to mind is Maya Angelou's book, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. Mm -hmm. There's something about when you have a song in your heart, no matter what, what trials or uh, tribulations you're facing. There's something about a song that, that lightens the spirit. And so I'm just, uh, I love this hymn. And, and as it turns out, uh, I believe if I may have time to share with you that uh, one of the few times that I planted in our worship service was actually uh, August of last year as our as Ascension had resumed its in-person worships, um, that particular Sunday, it was uh, August 9th of last year. And uh, let me see, the gospel text was Matthew's gospel, a passage in the 14th chapter. And it happened to be about when the disciples were out 
on, on the sea in a storm. And it's the time that Peter came walking, tried to walk to meet Jesus. And, and Jesus comes and calms the storm um, that the disciples were in. And so I said, what more befitting him to sing on that day um, about Jesus coming into our lives and calming the storms? that we face in life that we can depend on yeah it is such a song of hope uh such a glorious tune yeah. and beautiful beautiful words you know i don't know if you know this yeah. I, I may have told you this before but four days after i was ordained in charleston uh, hurricane hugo blew through town and through the state of south carolina and this hymn along with several others, became a hymn of hope and courage um, in the midst of the aftermath from that hurricane. I can remember seeing um, pictures of the boats that blew up onto the streets out of the water and um, the roofs that were torn off and being, uh, the trees and the limbs that were down into people's um, homes and tore their homes apart. And this, uh, this hymn became yeah. a hymn of uh, hope for a new day and the yeah. and hope that Christ yeah. was with us in the midst of it. It's a beautiful, powerful hymn, and uh, it makes me smile. Yeah. It made me uh, made me laugh a little when you said you could, were surprised it was a Lutheran hymn because we do sometimes sing with a little bit of gusto, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing but, that story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the other thing I was going to share with you is that. Um, when I was working on the uh, on these devotions, I chose the scriptures randomly. I didn't know when when my leaders were going to be available for uh, for these interviews, and so I just put the scriptures in for the Easter season. And I find it to be a real spiritual joy to share with you, especially because of the hymn you've chosen. That the reading for today is Psalm one hundred and fifty. Let me share that with you now. Okay. Hallelujah. Praise God in his holy house of worship. Praise God under the open skies. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his magnificent greatness. Praise with a blast on the trumpet. Praise with strumming soft strings. Praise God with castanets and dance. Praise him with banjo and flute. Praise him with cymbals and big bass drums. Praise him with fiddles and mandolin. Let every living, breathing creature praise God. Alleluia. The word of the Lord. Ah. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. O oh God, you are the creator of the world, the liberator of your people, and the wisdom of the earth. By the resurrection of your Son, Jesus, free us from our fears, restore us in your image, and ignite us with your light. We pray through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, Pastor Jackie, it's Amen. always a delight to see you, to have some time together with you, and certainly in this Easter season, to hear about your um, joy for, uh, for this beautiful, yeah. beautiful hymn, My Life Flows On in yeah. Endless Song. I believe your life does flow on in Endless Song. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. it does. Amen. Thanks be to God. It does. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thanks for being with me. God's peace be with you and with all of you who are watching today. May this be a source of blessing and strength for your day and may your life flow on with endless song as well.